These fourth graders are having a blast in science class, but more importantly, they're learning. I really like doing um, hands-on activities because I like to learn how to solve problems. Ivy Winsell is a fourth grader. Her teacher, Erin Murphy, is challenging her class to design something which would get Santa on the roof just in case his sleigh breaks down. They're having fun learning it, and they're the ones who are teaching each other. It's not just me teaching them. Educators from across Kentucky are changing the way they teach your child science. I want everybody to hear that I value what our teachers are doing in our classrooms. Stephen Pruitt is the Commissioner of Education for Kentucky. He says the way your child is even tested in science is changing. This is a test that's really being developed by our teachers, for our teachers. Pruitt tells me there will be three parts to this new science test. The classroom embedded assessments, those are the teacher developed. They need to continue to do those, they need to do a good job, they need to be aligned to standards through course tasks. Those are tasks that, that teachers will do three times a year. And the final part? is the state summative assessment, which will still be in fourth grade, seventh grade. But that doesn't mean your child will only get science in the fourth and seventh grade. If you wait till fourth grade and seventh grade, your scores are going to be terrible because there's no way a student can learn the content they need to learn alone, much less the thought process that goes along with it. These tests are not going to be what they've seen before. Back in Murphy's classroom, her students put their backup Santa sleighs to the test. It challenges them to be able to apply the science knowledge they have to the world around them. Which means your child will be prepared for a world oozing with science. In Paducah, Jason Lindsay.